Everyone seems to be so much friendlier. Good morning. Happy St George's Day. It's Thursday. Another government sanctioned walk, get some exercise, which I think is important actually. You need the sun to generate vitamin D in your body, which uh, builds up your immune system during this uh, very, very weird time. And today, I'm going to take you around Beddington Park, talk about a little bit of the history, show you some Mary's Church, Crew Manor, and it should be fun. Lovely day. This uh, great park, which was much larger uh, back in Tudor times, was converted into a deer park in the 14th century by the Crew family. We're a very prominent uh, family around here for hundreds of years. Restaurant. I've not walked in here for years. Built in 1860. The grounds went in, that's what was making the noise. And given to the council around 1935. There was originally a manor house on this site which burnt down, and uh, this is obviously its replacement, which is now the Grange restaurant. with me. I should have bought a flask of coffee. Okay. okay, there's the bridge. We'll bear a left here, headed up to Crew Manor and the uh, and the church. Also, like the last video, I'm sorry if I keep repeating myself. I have done this sort of walk before, but I'm trying a few extra bits. I did it on the Walk in the Wandle Trail walk, which I'll link below in the description box. A bit of a barn here, over there. Um, so yeah, but it's still lovely to see. Victorian Bridge. Victorian little trails, so let's walk up here. Listen to the bird song really loud, which is a good thing. Just imagine back in Tudor period, deer running about. I said it was much, much larger area 500 years ago. So here we are outside St Mary's Church. Um, I've said before, actually I shot a couple of films here as a location. Uh, Dawn Razor in 2001 and this old first movie I did about 93 which you can see on my previous video I've linked below about the Wonder Walk. I won't bore with you clips now. But yes, nice little uh, landscape garden here with um, a few tombstones. Yeah, lots of green stones from sort of the 1870s, 1880s up to 1960. Lovely lich gate. Yeah, film we did Dawn Razor. We had a fight sequence right here on this ground. Really good. Remember, we informed the police that we were shooting here at night. They came down and actually had a watch and uh, enjoyed it. 
the innocent times of filming. Love it. These old wooden beams, which are probably much older than the actual structure. Could be more of an old ship. A lot of beams were for. <laughs> St Mary's was mentioned in the Doomsday Book in 1086, although there was a church on the site before the Norman Conquest, so we're going back to sort of Saxon times. So it could have been a Saxon lord built on here, but then again there could have been a, a site of worship much earlier than that, you know, going back to sort of Neolithic times. I've, I keep saying again and again, why are religious sites built where they are. Lovely old door. That's where you go around. Oh, it's a modern part. That's interesting. Can you see the little window arches? I've not seen that on the side of a church for quite a while. Is that unique? Please, someone tell me. Quite another one here. Richard Kirkham died March 7th, 1801. He's 82 years. And Catherine Kirkman, wife of Richard Kirkman, November the 9th, 1782. He's 66. I wonder how this door is. Much earlier grave here. Um, do you see? It's very hard to see. It's very much worn out, but it looks like 1670, yeah, AD 1672. That is early, 1672. The original crew manor was started in 1381, same time though when they uh, turned this area into a deer park. So yeah, as I said earlier, the crew family were very prominent in this area. It's also got one of the best preserved hammer beam roofs, which was built in the um, early 1500s, and uh, it is quite spectacular. You know, if you're not a hammer beam roof, there's ones at um, Hampton Court, obviously. At Elton Palace. So, yeah, amazing place. I've said before we did a paranormal investigation there back in 2008. I've just remastered that episode and I'll link it below so you can get a, a look inside as well because we went down into the tunnels. That's a video coming soon, these tunnels around here. That'd be very interesting, the Bennington tunnels. Um, yeah. Now this parade of trees is called Queen Elizabeth Walk and it's been here since Elizabethan times, <laughs> including the title. So this would have been probably the grand entrance going up to uh, the manor, which is now of course Crew Academy. So yeah, Queen Elizabeth Walk. New manor cottage, lovely. In the distance you can see the wall of the orangery. remember we performed, I think I directed the shorter version, yeah I directed the shorter version, we did uh, this new musical, Time Will Tell. We performed it on the lawn here back in 2000, part of this, um, I can't remember what it was now, something to do with um, your town, loving your town or something, and we took it to the Millennium Dome during the Millennium Year. Yeah, that was an experience. Yeah, time Will Tell. A little bit of wall. Okay, this dovecot was built in the 1700s by another Nicholas Crew, so many Nicholas Crews. But there was one here before in the Tudor period when the uh, manor was built. So I've been here a long time. A 
lovely Beddington Park cottages. If you want to, you can walk along this. This is the Wandle Trail. So which I've done this bit before, links below as I said. So we're going to head back all that way. Back in 1930, a Roman coffin was found. And evidence now suggests that there was a huge Roman villa uh, on, I think it's on the grounds of Crew Manor to the north. Um, I don't think it's been fully excavated and I'd like to know a little bit more about that, but it doesn't seem to be much online. So if anyone else can fill me in on that, would be great. A Roman villa in Beddington. Might be going that way. Everyone seems to be so much friendlier. Because it's good morning and hello and with the social distancing. Very interesting. Well, that's it guys, a little jaunt around uh, Benton Park. Hope you've had to hear me all right. It's a little bit of a wind, which is quite refreshing because it's quite hot today. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. Please any more, any comments you know about things I've asked for, that would be really useful to know. If you know any uh, extra information, that would be great, thank you. Which people have been doing, which I really appreciate. Um, so say, uh, consider subscribing. And uh, we'll see you next time. Stay safe. <laughs>